three, two, one, sa, three, two, one, sa, three, two, one. A TNT, it's detonation time. Sa, welcome to episode three of Tuesday Night TNT. This is your host, TNT. I am excited to be back. We've had a hell of a week since episode two. Unfortunately, the AWF systems got uh, hacked and we've had a lot of problems. Our YouTube channel went down, a whole bunch of uh, social media problems and internet problems. However, we're getting back on track and we are here to deliver another exciting episode of AWF and TNT. So thanks for joining us again. The initial response to episode one and two have been huge. You know, we had thousands of people watching each episode, which was perfect. Um, so we hope you'll be able to rejoin us on these new platforms for the time being until we get our YouTube channel back up. And if we don't, we'll be establishing a new YouTube channel uh, to help spread the word there. But we'll be on social media and the AWF Pivot Share to uh, get the word out and continue the momentum of Tuesday Night TNT and AWF Wrestling. So uh, a lot of news coming up this week. We've had uh, international people coming to Australia. We've had some passings uh, and uh, some new news from uh, the AWF. So uh, to get things started, just want to send out uh, some uh, commiserations to a uh, long-term uh, AWF fan and friend, Paul Etherington. Uh, unfortunately, Paul uh, passed away last week. He's uh, been a long-term uh, Australian wrestling fan, a big supporter um, of, of old school Australian wrestling as well. Uh, a resident of, of the ACT, uh, has come, visited many, many AWF shows through the years. Uh, yeah, Paul unfortunately uh, passed away, I believe, due to some uh, ki uh, kidney complications. So, um, yeah, I just want to send out uh, the absolute best from uh, all at AWF and really uh, to the family of, of Paul and, and you know, uh, you're in our thoughts and uh, thank you for the support all those years. So um yeah this this episode is uh dedicated to the memory of paul and uh what a great uh, uh supporter of, of wrestling in australia that he was so um yeah paul miss you mate and um no, thank you for for all your support through the years uh so on to on to yeah on, another unfortunate news uh jerry jarrett the uh the father of jeff jarrett has passed away also uh he was age 80 years old he uh was very prominent, uh, I guess, with uh, USWA wrestling and uh, creating NWA TNA wrestling, which uh, turned into Impact Wrestling. Uh, the father of Jeff Jarrett, um, yeah, Jerry, uh, you know, pioneer, promoter, somebody that uh, has a great, um, you know, respect in the wrestling business. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, he's passed away also. So uh, yeah, some sad news in the wrestling world uh, this past week. Uh, however. Uh, just moving on, we've got a, a lot of interactions in Australia. You know, we've had uh, John Cena uh, filming a movie in Victoria. Uh, the, uh, the the movie uh, Ricky Stenicki uh, with Zac Efron uh, is being filmed, and uh, there's been quite a bit of media attention about that. Also in the media has been uh, Logan Paul was supposed to appear in Perth for a publicity appearance for his new energy drink. Um, but uh, it got cancelled over concerns for safety, uh, as was the uh, the Sydney scheduled appearance. So uh, Logan Paul did not um, meet and greet the fans, but uh, somebody that did meet and greet the fans uh, was Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy uh, returned to Australian shores, uh, capturing the MCW Championship in Melbourne, um, beat uh, Mick, Mitch Waterman uh, in what was reportedly a fantastic battle. Uh, Rhea Ripley was apparently in the country as well, uh, fresh off her Royal Rumble victory, so and on her way to WrestleMania. So, uh, yeah, some of the, the big names uh, from the WWE in Australia, so that's always interesting. Um, President Goldstein, he's uh, been uh, making some announcements. We're, we're looking like AWS going to return to live events in April, uh, and he's announced that he's going to uh, return with the This Is AWF TV show. He's going to feature Mad Max Ramirez and some of our champions over the, the coming weeks. So uh, watch out for This Is AWF Wrestling once we reestablish our YouTube channel. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I want to announce that uh, AWF Dream Camp is going to be coming up. We're going to be uh, hitting, the, uh, hitting the wrestling ring once again. 
Uh, it should be around April. We're, we're accepting applications now. So if you are interested in that, please, uh, it's a four day camp. We've run it for many years. It's been uh, one of the highlights of the year every year. So send us an email, info at awfwrestling.com.au and that will give us all the information. So uh, yeah, lots of news this week. Um, you know, some sad stuff, some uh, some interesting stuff, but uh, yeah, we're, we're getting uh, 2023 rolling in a big way. Uh, February's not almost over and uh, coming into March soon. So uh, this, this episode, we're gonna take a look back uh, to 1999 where AWF began once again. We had a great response to my match with Super Dragon, TNT versus Super Dragon, a classic from Psychotic Slam 99. We're gonna have another look at uh, a match from 1999 as well. Uh, it's from Newcastle Basketball Stadium. It's gonna be TNT taking on the homicidal, suicidal, genocidal Sabu. Uh, and what uh, was one of my uh, big battles uh, from Psychotic Slam 99. Uh, a, a real crazy crowd in Newcastle. They've been a great uh, AWF uh, hotbed for many years and uh, TNT versus Sabu uh, here to kick off Tuesday night TNT. So uh, let's go and take a, a look at uh, uh, one of the one of the early big matches of TNT's career uh, from Psychotic Slam 99. Let's go to the footage. Boom. Here we are at Newcastle Basketball Stadium, August 26, 1999. About to make my way to the ring to face an ECW World Champion, Sabu. This match under hardcore rules, anything goes. The fans here in Newcastle, they showed up, that's for sure. Hundreds and hundreds in attendance house at the basketball stadium and they were looking forward to seeing this one that was for sure looking out to Andy Raymond there TNT was ready to dominate here but uh, this was quite the uh, hardcore war that's for sure first date of the Psychotic Slam 99 tour Subtle, suicidal, genocidal, Sabu. A true legend in professional wrestling. A man that revolutionized hardcore wrestling. Some say even brought it to the populace. In ECW, he certainly uh, revolutionized the business in many ways. TNT, only a young man at this stage. Very trepidatious to be in there with such a dangerous wrestler, such as Sabu. This one's underway, but the wrestlers to start off. Wastelock, reversal, takedown into a leg bar. Sabu, uh, very well schooled. Matt wrestler as well. He's up for the Sheik. Trained him and uh, he traveled the world star in the FMW promotion and then in ECW later years wrestled in all the major promotions such as WWE, TNA and the like. TNT grabbing a hold here, jawbreaker. Busted out of that hold after a little bit of wrestling. Stomp to the back. There's one of Sebi's famous holds. Half clutch. Just warm it up in this hardcore encounter here. Tuesday night team T, we're glad to be back. Simply with a punch in the corner, referee Fuzzle and Young. In the action once again. Oh, jumping leg Larrett. Classic Sabu there. Two count only. On a 
alert people to the uh, great deal we got going on. We got some uh, Sabu merchandise available. If you look in the description, we got some cool signed photos from the time. I've also got some uh, signed photos of TNT from the time. I'll send everybody a uh, voice message, video call. Anyone that makes a purchase, so check out the descriptions for that one. Missed the baseball slide. Shoots him in, but a reversal. Oh, into the barricades. I'm getting out of there for a while. I'm over the barricade now. Sadly, he's so dangerous. He's on his game. Around this time, he was uh, one of the featured main event wrestlers of ECW. ECW was hot on this very tour was Sabu and Chris Candido. Marty Gennetti also part of the tour. Here we go. Jump onto the top rope over the barricade. Big axe handle. Felt the full wrath of that one. This one's getting wild and extreme already. AWF security. Keeping the fans safe there. You see Rob Jones in the background. He's the head of AWF. He's even out there amongst it. Sabu with his famous point to the sky. Count being administered. Sabu with the chair. Throws it. He didn't miss with that one. Straight to the head. This one could end in a count out. Such an unpredictable and wild wrestling superstar was Sabu. He's falling me out. I need to get out of there. Oh, looking to set up a table. Newcastle like the extreme style, that's for sure. They're warming up here. Nice axe handle there and stop Sabu dead in his track. I'm going to go for something of my own from the top rope. Put in through the table. Oh! Sabu stops it by hitting the rope. Big strike there. I'm stuck on the top rope here. Sabu coming up. Victory roll off the top rope. High impact move there with a near two fall. Sabu just so on his game at this stage of his career. Springboard leg drop. TNT still in this one a little bit, just staying alive. Sabu to the top rope. Such an invader. Oh. Stopped in there with a jump on the strand there. With some classic TNT. Top club, top rope runner. That one took a fall on Super Dragon. We saw that last time in episode two. Oh, so close there. Every move matters in a match like this. I want to thank everybody that's ordered Team T t-shirts in recent weeks. Really appreciate the support, guys. If you'd like to get one, you can go to the AWF Wrestling shop. It's awfwrestling.com.au slash shop on the AWF website. Gonna have some new designs up there really, really soon. Here we go, bringing the table into the ring, but Sabu's got a chair again now. A lot of furniture being used in this one. We're setting it up in the corner. Oh, Sabu. He's just so dangerous with those chair throws. Right in the head again. Trying to set me up. Shoots me to the buckle. Table prone there. Could be used as a weapon for sure. Crowd here in Newcastle wants to see the table. Psychotic slam. What a tour it was. On the AWF pivot share this week, we're going to have Psychotic Slam 99 Sydney. We're going to format the event and it'll be up there. Available for purchase. Support that uh, program, that would be great. There we go, trying to shoot him in. Another reversal back to the corner again. Really teasing that table. Someone trying to get position. Oh, 
Big front boot. Cross kick. Oh! Sneaky detonator. Didn't catch all of it, but almost on the chair there, right on the end of the chair. Here we go. Chopper and Moonsell. If I hit this, this will be it. Going for it all. Oh! Missed it. Sabu out of the way. Like I said, every move so important to get the win here, especially so young in my career. The victory would have done this one. Sabu with the leg drop. Running leg lariat. Couldn't break the table. Maybe almost broke me. <laughs> this one breaking down for sure. Leg drop with the chair. I'm in a world of trouble right now. Fans calling for the table. They're getting ready. They want to see the extreme. Sabu. Here we go. Fans chanting, we want the table. Drop kick. Took me off my feet. Getting ready to set me up. Throws me on the table. The table goes down. Throws me off. He needs to set that thing up again. I'm still in this one, still struggling. <laughs> Staying alive, <laughs> just. <laughs> what a walk down memory lane. Big boot to the midsection there, sets me up. Uh-oh. This could be the near end. Big leg drop from the top. Newcastle explodes. The stadium roof blows off. And here's your winner, Sabu. What a memory. memories there Sabu putting TNT through the table at a young age and uh, yeah baptism of fire in many many uh, aspects so uh, yeah quite the uh, a spectacle that quite the learning experience for TNT uh, one of the top hardcore wrestlers in the world the uh, the main eventer for ECW coming to Australia uh, for Psychotic Sam 99 and uh, what a what a page of history that was uh thanks for for tuning in on that one and and uh, i'm watching it we got a great offer to go with that uh sabu uh signed a bunch of uh pictures while he was here this is a an official signed photograph um in a frame here it's got sabu awf 99 uh so we'll have them for sale uh on online here now you'll also get a, a download of the psychotic slam 99 show which will feature uh chris candida versus sabu uh, that one hasn't been uh, released since the video back in the day. So. Thanks for your support there. And um, yeah, next up, we're going to go into uh, OJ Fitzpatrick Cup uh, tournament action. Uh, we've seen uh, two of the other round uh, one matches so far. This time we're going uh, to the other side of the bracket. We're going to see Chris Rucker, former AWF Tag Team Champion, take on the Mauler Y of the Outer Realm, realm in heavyweight action here for the OJ Fitzpatrick Cup with the winner to receive any kind of match that they that, that they please in the future. So the winner of this tournament, uh, uh, big, big ramifications for AWF in 2023. So here we go. We're gonna come into the action now. It's gonna be Chris Rucker taking on Mauler Y. Boom. The following contest is scheduled for Thanks very much for being here with this record. Introducing first, weighing in at 145 kilograms from the outer realm. It's Wawa There you hear our announcer, Rob Andrews, announcing one of the outer realm members. 
is the largest in the faction, possibly the most dangerous, the Mauler Y. Why indeed, this guy is insane. Such a beast of a wrestler. He's been cutting through the competition at IWF, earning himself a spot in the OJ Fitzpatrick Cup Tournament. Saw the outsider take on Matt Static. The outsider suffered his first loss. Will the Mauler be able to advance in this one? Some great fans here in Katoomba. Green signs. Mauler just scoping the joint here. We're going to be returning to Katoomba very soon. Tickets will be announced for March. Here we see former AWF Tag Team Champion Chris Rucker making his first appearance here in Katoomba. <laughs> he is ready to wreak havoc, to run a mark here and run down the competition. Rucker looks ready. He'd love to honor the tradition of Owen Fitzpatrick. A late beloved referee. This greets the awesome fans here in Katoomba. AWF Blue Mountains fans, they're some of our best. Chris Rucker's here to have a good time. Chris Rucker is certainly looking forward to uh, making an impact in singles competition here in 2023 when we return to live events. He's got some new gear. He's ready to run over the competition. You saw him give his little sign, that little bar bump. He's ready to ride the roads once again with AWF in 2023. Our referee for this one, David Hilder. We saw him last week, last time at episode two. Tuesday night team team. Had a little bit of trouble <laughs> with competitors. We'll see how he fares in this one. Some heavyweight action here in the OJ Cup tournament. We saw Gun advance in our last episode. And we also saw Matt Static go on to the semis. The winner of this one will face Matt Static. This one about to get underway. David Hilder needs to get control. Just wants to check out the both men. Checking out the tassels of Rasa. Rucker. <laughs> Rucker's ready, that's for sure. Been waiting for this one. The bell has rung. We're underway. Round one action. And well, typical out of realm style here. Ask them to come to the outside. This faction so unorthodox. Moore likes the Moore. He will take the outside victory with the count out. Page out of the outsider's book. We saw that in the match versus match static. Episode one of Tuesday Night TNT. Rock is following him out. He's had enough of the stalling already. Rucker grabs him, slams his head into the apron. Nice tactic there from Rucker. Oh, into the pole early. Didn't get all of it, but uh, still rocking the all. That's what he needs to do to get this big man in a state of uh, shock here. Don't often see Mauler not dominating and mauling at the start of a match. Rucker has caught him off guard. Falling outside there. Rucker looking to body slam it. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa, almost got him up. Half a body slam. Can you believe it? Drops an elbow, hooks a leg. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen anyone really slam them all the way. Didn't get all of it, but he's knocked him out of his pants, that's for sure. <laughs> We don't need to see that. All the way, taking off his gain early. Chris Rucker. Charges with the shoulder tackle. Follows it up again. Rolls him out. Rucker looks ready to advance in the OJ Fitzpatrick Cup tournament. 
He's raring to get back into AWF competition after a little break. Rocker off the rope. Who goes for shoulder tackle. Almost seems unfazed. Goes again. This is not the, the game that you want to play with Molawai. This guy's... Oh! Almost pounces him down there. And I believe the tide has changed in this one. The Outer Realm, such a dangerous faction. They'll come at you with everything. Not against breaking the rules, that's for sure. Show can rock around here. David Hilder. Obviously a little scared to get in there with, with them all. Or this guy is a mass freak, that's for sure. Rucker trying to fight back, but Waller shot to the midsection. Shoots him off the rub. Big clothesline. Rucker goes down, derails. Oh, foot on the chest. But only a two count. See the Outer Realm shirt there? You can get shirts like that and many other crazy and wild designs from the Outer Realm. Go to the AWF website. Click on the shop link. That's awfwrestling.com.au slash shop. You see some great designs there. The Outer Realm have a few supporters, believe it or not. They're building a cult following of sorts. Why? He's not pretty in this ring. However, he is effective. And Rucker follows up with a chop of his own. Well, some strikes here. Ola blocks it. You don't want any of that. Grabs a front face lock. Oh, big forearm, double axe handle. Very effective. Waller Y needs to keep to his strategy. And here we go. Rolls him out. Perhaps looking for a count out. This is classic out of realm. David Hilder intimidated once again. Waller Y showing his butt. Still feeling the effects of Rucker's earlier attacks. They're on the outside. Referee should be counting. This one ends in a double count out. Both men will be eliminated. No one will advance. Miller with his butt shown again. Through the ropes. Rocker brings it back into the ring. He doesn't want to be counted out. He needs to get in there as well. He's under the bottom rope. Both these big men feeling the effects of the battle here. Waller holding onto the ropes. Perhaps trying to escape. Rocker following up with a few stomps. Fans here in Katoomba. I think they're behind. Rocker goes for another slam. Oh! Didn't catch all of it, but got him off his feet. Can you believe it? Oh, but a sloppy cover. Covers the midsection region. Instead of the shoulders, Rocker needs to make a better cover. Waller kicked out of that one. All are definitely feeling the effects. Not used to being taken off his feet. Rucker, a strong dude for sure. Rolls him over in the center of the ring. Looks like Rucker's going to the top row, perhaps. He's setting up. What's he going to go for? Maybe, all... Maybe a back elbow. But Mauler, oh! He caught him. He's got him on his shoulder. Oh! Drops him like a sack of garbage. Electric chair. Drops him back. Rocker feeling the effects. Maybe caught the back of his head. Waller took advantage of that situation. The crowd rallying the wrestlers. They both lost their fate. Who's going to take the advantage here? Waller struggling. His outfit as well. Goes for the clothesline. Ducker goes. Oh, crossbody! Missed the clothesline. Hit the crossbody. One, two. Oh, and a near victory. Almost advancing. He wants that OJ Fitzpatrick Cup. He wants any type of match that he can get that he could ever want. I wonder what type of match Chris Rucker would choose. 
he got, goes for another clothesline. All had it scouted. Belly to belly suplex. Oh, that could be it. Oh, no. Oh, we cover. Puts a hand on it. That's not all. Or perhaps setting him up for some more punishment. What's going to happen here? Setting him up. Oh, he's so heavy. What's going to happen here? Moore on the second row. Don't you... Oh! He broke the ring. He didn't catch all of him, but he still landed on him. The referee doesn't know what to do. One, two, three. Oh! Have you ever seen anything like that? Moore wide breaks the ring. Breaks Chris Rocker. He may have broke a rib on Rocker. The Moore Y advances to face Matt Static in the tournament. Whoa! Let's get the official result. The Ola Y advances. Ah, well, that's a bit of an upset there. What a, an interesting match. Mauler Y breaking the ring, can you believe it? We've never seen anything like that in, in the many years of AWF. Um, so, yeah, Mauler Y advances in the tournament. He'll take on Matt Static, who we saw defeat the Outsider uh, two weeks ago in Episode 1. So that's going to be a highly anticipated match. Uh, and next week we'll see uh, from the Torture and Trauma Services, uh, one half of that team, Torture. He's going to be taking on... Deepak Sharma, who's a, who's a great fan favorite, rising up the ranks of AWF. So that's going to be on the show next week as we continue the tournament of the OJ Fitzpatrick Cup. So um, thanks, everybody, for joining joining us. You know, I want to remind everybody, uh, if you're interested in AWF Dream Camp coming up in April, please shoot us an, shoot us an email, info at awfwrestling.com.au. Say that you're interested in doing the Dream Camp. It's going to be a four-day wrestling camp hosted by myself and a couple of other friends from AWF. Some of the other wrestlers will come in for a day or two whiskey six will probably be in uh maybe someone like akel and, and and some of the the the, the 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 great wrestlers from from awf will, will come and uh say hi and and uh and lend a hand so uh that's going to be exciting that's going to be a, a great time to uh, enjoy wrestling um so yeah if you are interested in that shoot us an email uh please support awf with the merchandise so uh, you can see here i got my detonation crew shirt on here uh that's been popular the uh awf uh uh, web page so our store there has, has been uh, fantastic so that's uh, awfwrestling.com.au slash shop uh, we've got some great great uh, t-shirts there you know detonation crew out around the top seller so far has been the uh, the new TNT uh, action figure shirt uh, which has uh, been quite pleasing to me there's uh, it's got a cross uh, with Minecraft uh, with the, with the TNT bomb on there and a, and a Hasbro style TNT figure, so uh, yeah, it's it's quite a, a compliment to everybody that's uh, that's purchased one of them. Uh, just a big big shout out to to, to those kind of people, um, to, to to my Detonation crew guys. You, you guys are uh, awesome supporters. We're gonna do some shout outs from from people that have bought merch. So anyone who buys that uh, uh, Sabu combo, the um, future T-shirts and stuff like that. Um, it, you know, we're going to, we could give you some shout outs in the show, but also, uh, the opportunity for, uh, a new TNT pack coming up where I'll, I'll send you a video message. Uh, I'll also, uh, of some personalized signed things, uh, and some special, um, you, you know, one-off memorabilia that, uh, that, that you won't be able to get anywhere else. So, uh, once again, thanks guys for joining us. Episode three, we got here, no matter what, we, we're going to try and bring you an episode, uh, uh very regularly and, and continue the momentum here. Uh, we really appreciate your support. We appreciate all the messages. Say, hey, what's happening with the with the with the YouTube? What's happening with the with the uh, you know upcoming shows? We're getting back. We're rolling. Uh, nothing can stop us. If internet hackers or or you know anything else out there. We we love wrestling. We're gonna keep bringing it to you. Thank you so much for your support. We will be back again next Tuesday, 7 p.m. on AWF social medias. Check out our Pivot Share. We've got lots of great events up there. That really helps pay the bills. Uh, we're going to be uploading the uh, Tuesday Night TNT episodes up there, as you can see. Uh, we'll also try and put them on the on the social media, on our Facebook, uh, clips on Instagram and the like. So, guys, stay in touch with us. Uh, shoot us any questions you have. Join us on the live chats, obviously. Uh, they're a lot of fun, uh, as, as we would have done tonight. So, 
Uh, man, thank you guys for your support of TNT and uh, the Australian Wrestling Federation. Keep in touch. And boom, it's always detonation time. Have a great time and we'll see you soon. Sa, see you next Tuesday at 7, guys. Boom. <laughs>